Hello and welcome to the next video in our series. In this video, we will talk about setting up Android Studio, Android SDK and Flutter for the Housey app. We will guide you through the entire process step by step from downloading Android Studio to configure your Flutter environment. The first step is to head over to the official Android Studio website. You can search on Google by writing Android Studio download and find the official links in the results. Or you can directly open developer.android.com slash studio. Here you should see the option to download Android Studio Ladybug. This version name may vary. The current version is Ladybug. It may change in the future release. The versions of Android Studio are named after an animal. You can directly download from here or you can scroll down and find the flavor best suited for your machine. So right now I am using ARM based Mac. So I am going to download this flavor here. If you are using an Intel based Mac, you can download this flavor and similarly for windows and linux or chrome os you can download the related flavor so i'm going to go ahead and download arm based flavor accepting the agreement and download so after downloading the android studio dmg i am going to simply open and drag and drop the android icon to the application folder after it has been copied to application folder, I can simply launch the Android Studio from application. It is verifying Android Studio. If you click on this three dots menu, you should see SDK manager option here. So in the SDK platform tab, it is showing the SDK platform packages that I can download uh, for Android development. The current latest SDK is Android 15 that I already have downloaded the SDK platform and sources for Android and also I have downloaded Google Play based ARM64 V8 system image for Android emulators. So you can go ahead and download the required SDK uh, for your uh, development. This is evenly required if you want to develop Flutter apps because Flutter ultimately use uh, Android SDK for the Android apps and also uses Xcode and iOS SDKs uh, for iPhone development. And in the SDK tools, there are some utilities that help in uh, development. For example, you will need to download Android SDK command line tools, Android emulator and Android SDK platform tools. Keep in mind, the system image for an emulator is separate from the Android emulator itself. Android emulator tool is a separate application that runs a specific system image as an independent Android device. Uh, you will also need to download Android uh, emulator in the SDK tools uh, that you can use to run uh, different system images for uh, different Android versions. You will also need to download the Android SDK build tools. So in order to download and install or uninstall anything, you just need to click on the checkbox to the left of the item. So for example, if you want to download CMake, you just need to click on this checkbox here or from the SDK platforms if you want to download Android 8 scroll down and find the Android 8 option here you don't need to select all of the things from here instead you can install the selected sub items like Android SDK platform or if you want to look at the sources of Android 27 or if you want to install the system image for your development machine that you can use in Android emulator. Just select these items and then click apply. In the next dialog, it will uh, show you the components that will be downloaded and the disk space it will use. Click on OK and it will start downloading the SDK components. After the installation has been completed, it will show the component installation status as installed. Since the current development machine in this demo is an ARM based Apple Silicon uh, MacBook uh, that is why we have selected the ARM64 uh, V8A system image for Android emulators. If your machine is an Intel based machine uh, you will need to install the relevant uh, system image for x86 or x86-64 Atom system image. Also, it is preferable if you install the uh, Google APIs based uh, system image as the uh, Google API based system image contains the Google Play services to test the mobile app with Google Play APIs. You can also open the Android SDK option by going into the Android Studio menu on the top left side and then going to the setting. 
and then Android SDK. You will also need to configure an Android virtual device or Android emulator. You can open the virtual device manager by going into the three dots menu here and click on virtual device manager. Right now I have created three um, virtual devices. You can click on the plus button here and uh, create a virtual device suitable for your development. For example, I can click on uh, Pixel 9 Pro and then click on Next. Here I will need to select the system image that I want to use for the virtual device. The current selected image is Vanilla Ice Cream with API 35 and it targets Android 15 with Google Play. So I can test the in-app purchase flow as well. Let's click Next and uh, give our Android device a name and then you can uh, continue with the default setting or you can change the default setting by clicking on show advanced settings. You can increase the internal storage here or you can enable the device frame. So if you enable the device frame it will run the Android OS in a device frame of Pixel 9 Pro. Clicking on finish will create the virtual device. You can go ahead and launch the virtual device from this play button. The next step is to enable the Flutter environment in Android Studio. To enable Flutter in Android Studio, we need to download the Flutter plugin. Go into plugins here and click on uh, marketplace and search for Flutter. The Flutter plugin also requires Dart plugin to be installed. So let's search for Dart and also install the plugin. So after the Dart plugin has been installed, switch to the installed tab. The Flutter plugin requires the Android IDE to be restarted. Let's restart. After restarting, we can notice there is a new button that says new Flutter project. Click on this button. So before creating the new Flutter project, it requires the Flutter SDK path to be entered here. So let's head over to the Flutter official website and download the Flutter SDK that we can configure in Android Studio. Open flutter.dev and click on get started. Here choose your development environment. For this demo we are going to download Mac OS version. The type of the app doesn't matter here as they will download the same Flutter SDK. Click on Android, scroll down. Here you should find the path to download Flutter. Since we are on ARM based Mac or Apple Silicon, we are going to download this flavor here. After the download has been completed, we need to unzip the Flutter SDK uh, folder and then uh, set up the SDK path in Android Studio. So I have created this Flutter SDK directory in my projects related uh, folder. Make sure this directory is easily accessible because we are going to add this directory's path in terminal environment variables. So let's unzip the Flutter SDK file. So by default it unzips in Flutter named directory. So let's head over to Android Studio and set up this Flutter directory as a Flutter SDK path. I'm going to choose this as Flutter SDK path and click next. If you are going to create a new project, you can create here or you can uh, click on cancel and go back. So it has successfully set up the Flutter SDK path. You are now ready to open Housy Flutter app. Let's go ahead and open a Housy based Flutter project. So this is Housy based Flutter uh, project that we are going to use uh, as a demo throughout the tutorial videos. So this is the default Flutter environment. Uh, your environment um, setup may vary because I have added few of the extra buttons. Uh, you can set up your custom uh, actions by going into the customize toolbar here and customize your toolbar items. So let's go ahead and launch the newly created Android emulator. So this was the emulator that we created uh, previously and it is being launched with a device frame. Since we created uh, this emulator with a Google Play based image, so it shows Google apps as well like Play Store, Gmail, Photos and YouTube. Let's go ahead and launch the application in this emulator. I'm going to just uh, click on this play button here. For the first time, it may take some time to download all the dependencies for Flutter and then for the Android SDK. So it has run the app in the emulator. We are now seeing the Housy app in action. As an additional step, you can provide the Flutter SDK path to the 
environment variable so that you can uh, run flutter commands in your mac os terminal open the rc file based on the shell that you are using i am using zsh based shell i am going to open the zsh rc file the zsh rc file resides at the home directory here and then sudo open dot zsh rc provide password and it will open the zsh rc file so in this file i have provided the java sdk path to uh, java home variable and android sdk path to uh, android sdk root and then also i have set up android home with the android sdk root this path variable is a system level environment variable and i have extended this path by providing the path to my flutter sdk uh, directory till the bin folder and in the later lines i have appended this path with uh, android home bin android home tools android tools bin and android home and each uh, line exports this path to the environment variable i also have added the enable flutter desktop true this was necessary if you wanted to enable um, desktop development in earlier days to verify if you have successfully uh, set up the android variable and flutter variables you can simply write the flutter doctor command if you append the dash v prompt it will provide the verbose and detailed information about the flutter installation So that's all about setting up Android Studio with Android SDK and then Flutter SDK and then setting up the Android and Flutter path in the terminal. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.